It was during a rain season. Me and my dude drive to Chengzuo, China. There are rich coastline from here, and the weather is wet. The most important thing is we can find caves everywhere. There are so many caves. Even local people use this cave near the road as a shop. Good business. We are interested in looking for some cave creatures, whatever little bugs or plants. Cave creatures are very unique. Some bugs live in the cave or near the cave for generations. Then they become different than outside. That's the beauty of caves. We visited several caves these days. Some are very close to the range of human activities. Some even the locals cannot find entries. Anyway, if you like nature or strange creatures, please subscribe. Your likes and replies are our motivation to make better video. We soon found the first insect in the cave. It is a species of cave cricket. They are not often found in the water, but this time we actually captured it floating on the water. There is a kind of cricket similar to them that is more common in the kitchen of countryside. The Chinese name is Zhao Ma. The Chinese word Zhao is composed of the word Huo, which means fire, and the word Tu. Which means earth or clay, and Zhao means an early clay stove heated with wood fire, and another word Ma means horse. People believe there is a god in charge of the kitchen. The kitchen god goes to heaven once a year to report the situation of people. On the fourth or fifth day of the first lunar month, he will return to each household. It is a long trip, so he needs a transport. Therefore, this insect Zhao Ma become the horse of kitchen god. There are many different species of cave crickets. Each species occupying a different section of the cave with limited. Some with very reduced eyes, some even blind. This is one of the most common creatures in cave ecology. They eat almost everything: bed droppings, fungi, and even crustaceans of their own kind. This cave cricket in the video is carrying a fresh corpse. It may be looking for a quiet corner to enjoy the meal alone. There are also many species of spiders live in the cave. This is a huntsman spider. At this moment, we don't know which species it is. Spiders of this family are known as Baiye Gao Jiao Zhu. They're almost all over the world. People usually mistake other huntsman spiders for Baiye Gao Jiao Zhu. Actually, the huntsman spider family is very rich in species. The one in the video is a cave species, but we don't know nothing more about it. Empty and quiet caves are popular with bats. They are social mammals and usually maintain a high body temperature. This provides great convenience for snakes to prey. Baihua jinshe is a common predator that lives at the entrance of the cave. 
they are non-toxic and generally docile. That's why I dare to get in touch with it. There are usually many begonias around the cave. They like to grow on the limestone walls. Some also grow on the ground, but pretty begonias generally grow on limestone walls. Transplanting begonias can be difficult. They are not easy to adapt to sudden changes in the environment unless you have plenty of time and experience of growing rainforest plants. I don't have a lot of time, so I just collect some begonia seeds. It is an easy way to start, and also no damage to wild populations. This is about two months after sowing, and this is about one half year later. They're not as pretty as the wild. The main reason is that I don't have much time to take care of them. I just water them weekly to make sure they don't dry out. Many of them were dried to death last hot summer. You need to take good care of them. Maintain high air humidity and low temperature so that they can show the same beauty as the wild. <laughs> 